the Oculus Rift is one of the main VR headsets for the desktop computer. It came out originally as a Kickstarter campaign that showed the world for the first time that consumer VR could be a viable option and as new prototypes were created and eventually the consumer version came out, it really opened up a world of uh, virtual reality experiences and games that hadn't been seen before and it's pretty much inspired a lot of the growth of this whole area over the last few years. The Oculus has different uh, input methods when uh, the Oculus itself comes with an Xbox One controller and with uh, like a clicker which is called Oculus Remote and you can also get um, tracked controllers called Oculus Touch and the store where Oculus games are are published is the uh, Oculus Store but you can also run games on the Steam Store with your Oculus Rift. The way that the Oculus works the headset itself has uh, six degrees of freedom. This includes three rotation axes and two position axes. For the rotation tracking, um, the way this works is the headset itself has a low light latency IMU. IMU stands for inertia measurement unit and it is the main sensor that virtual reality that it is that is used in virtual reality to detect where you're looking at. It consists of accelerators, accelerometers and gyroscopes and so that it can accurately measure where, uh, what your orientation is. And for position tracking, it uses a very clever system called the Constellation System, which I'm going to explain in a, in a little bit. The Oculus Touch controllers also have uh, the same six degrees of freedom and work just like the headset when it comes to the Constellation System. The Oculus Rift has 110 degrees as a field of view, or it's a horizontal field of view. Um, just for your reference, the uh, we see, humans see 180 degrees. And when it comes to the constellation system, I would like to show you a bit of a diagram on how it works. So if you have your, your computer and you are seated in your computer and you have this Oculus Rift thing on. Um, you will have seen that the Oculus comes with a sensor that is something like this. So this sensor is actually an infrared optical sensor that is looking. And the way that it uh, tracks your your object, in this case your headset, is the, the, the tracked objects have led that blink on a certain pattern, a certain pattern that the sensor um, obviously knows, and that allows the sensor to track the position of the object at a sub-millimeter level. When you get, if you get the Oculus Touch controllers, that works in the exact same way. So these controllers will also have a LED that is detected by the sensor. But now what happens if you, now that we have two objects, what happens if you move and for some reason your headset is blocking the way to the sensor, to the, to the controller, so that the sensor cannot see the, the controller. The controller has been occluded by the sensor. Well, that is why the Oculus Touch controllers come with a second sensor that you have to place in a different position and so that then you have um, a, uh, the possibility of still detecting these objects and you remove this problem of occlusion. I'm not entirely sure if it's, if it's entirely removed because there might be a situation where still uh, somehow um, something is being blocked but it definitely uh, reduces or diminishes this, this problem. So that is how the constellation system works which you might have read about if you when you got the, the device or if you've been researching about it. Now developing for the Rift in Unity, which is what really matters to us as we're going to be making all these games. Um, Unity has a native integration with the Oculus Rift and that includes the headset and the controller. So that is really good news. You don't have to install anything to be able to run a game on your Oculus Rift, which is something that used to, uh, used to be different in the past. 
Um, the Oculus website does have a few additional tools and uh, plugins, if you will. Um, there is one for spatial audio and also for avatars. And there might be other things as well at the time that you that you look at, at it. Um, and in here, there's something that it's important to mention. So like I said before, games that you develop for the Oculus can go on the Oculus Store and they can also go on Steam. But there's a, uh, th this is the thing. So if you build your game for the Oculus SDK in Unity, you will be able to publish it on the Oculus Store. And also you'll be able to use uh, some of these third party tools that I was mentioning, if that's what you want to do. Um, but if you, you can also build your game in Unity by selecting OpenVR as a target. And OpenVR is an open standard, an API that is that was developed by Valve, and that what uh, what it does it allows VR games to run in the Steam VR runtime. So it is made for Steam basically, and you can also integrate deeply with this uh, with this API. But if you do that, then you can no longer publish your game on the Oculus Store. So it's pretty much like you you have to. What I would recommend is basically to stick to native uh, Unity features for as far as you can. Things like the camera. Nowadays, you don't need to have a different camera for each one um, because the, the Unity camera supports the different SDKs and so on. So you need to go as far as you can with with Unity's native features. And then eventually you'll have to go one way or the other or both ways, in which case uh, there are a few solutions out there. Like some people just... Uh, have developed their own custom pipelines to to work around this issue but I want you to know that this is not a solved problem these days at the time of this recording and that um, there's not like a single easy way to have that cross-platform support that that we get in other in other areas uh, these days so keep that in mind and uh, what we're gonna do now is go to unity and run our game in oculus but before we do that um, the requirement is that you, I'm assuming that you have Oculus already installed and running in your computer, that, uh, just like you would to play games. So you have Oculus installed, you're able to play games on your Oculus, you have everything set up when it comes to the headset and whatnot. So once you have all of that in place and your, your device is connected, now we are going to go to Unity and run our game on the Oculus Rift. Okay, I'm in Unity and what we are going to do now is go to File, Build Settings, we are going to make sure that a PC is selected here. So switch platforms in case you had another platform selected. Then I'm going to go and press on player settings, which will bring this um, area here that has a lot of options. And what I'm going to be doing here is go down all the way to other settings and find the option that says virtual reality supported. So that's going to be unchecked by default. So I'm going to make sure that that is checked. And then in here, if uh, you can see the Oculus platform, but if that is not appearing, you can always just go and press the plus sign and add Oculus. And that's it. So I can, uh, before we build the game, let me just show you what happens in play mode. And by the way, if you connected the Oculus while you had Unity open, you might have to close Unity and open it again. Sometimes uh, I find it that it doesn't recognize it right away and that's how I solve it. So um, I've got virtual reality supported. We are on the Oculus platform. And what I'm going to do now is simply press play. And as you can see, I am on virtual reality now. So I can look around and I'm going to press the button on the Oculus remote, so that little clicker thing. I can also just use the mouse and press the left button to activate the movement. So we are moving and everything looks super smooth, super high quality, um, and that's it, basically. So another thing I wanted to show you was how the transform of the camera changes. So I'm going to disable this maximization here. Um, let's press play again. And what I'm going to do is click on the camera, main camera. Before the game begins, the, the height of the camera was set to this number, 1.52. And 
when the game starts, if I place the Oculus um, at the height that I, that I entered on the Oculus setup, so when you set up the Oculus, you would have entered some, some height, um, the camera position will change according to that height that I, that I set originally. Uh, so as you can see, if I move up, the, if I'm moving the Oculus up, the position goes up. If I'm moving it down, it goes down. And again, you can easily see what position tracking is like. Basically, if I jump in real world, you will jump in VR. And I can also move, move forward or move backward, move down, besides just rotation, which is what you would have on the on some of the other platforms that we looked at. All right, so that is, um, that is the Oculus target platform. And when it comes to building, what you can do is go to File, and then you can go to build settings and you can either do build in case you will just save the executable file or build and run. So I'm going to build and run and I'm going to be prompt with this option. Where do I want to save my executable file? So I've created a folder called builds and I'm going to enter it here. I'm going to type game dash Oculus. I'm going to save that. The, the building process might take a little bit. And once that completes, the game will be run. Okay, so the building process completed, and this is just like building a normal desktop game. So I get, I'm getting these options when it comes to the resolution, and I'm just gonna go and press play. And we now have the game on the Oculus Rift, and I can move around and just experience it uh, similar to what I did before. Um, but usually when you build, the quality is a little bit better than when you're running it on the, on the editor. So that's it for the Oculus target. Now, what if I want to use my Oculus with the OpenVR SDK instead of the Oculus SDK, which is what we just did? In that case, the first thing you need to do is download the Steam store in your computer. Create an account if, if you don't have one. And once you've installed the Steam store, you have to open it and go into your library and select tools. And in the list of tools, you have to find the one that's called Steam VR. So this is the runtime that is used to run virtual reality games, which use the OpenVR API. So you have to install Steam VR. And then in, in Unity, uh, you have to change the build target. So go to File, Build Settings in uh, PC, Mac, Linux, standalone. Go to Player Settings and scroll down to Virtual Reality. In this case, I had the Oculus as the target. So you can add, uh, you can add this and uh, sort of place it before the other one. But I can also just remove the Oculus one. So it is now set as OpenVR. Then I'm going to close this. And when I press play mode, the Steam VR tool is going to be open. And you might get errors like this, like the headset is not being tracked and whatnot. So you can see it now. Um, but I want to show you the the setup as well for the Oculus Rift. So you do have this set, you have to run the same room, room setup that, uh, that you would have run on Oculus, but it's just a little bit different. Okay, here we go. We are going to set up this room as standing only. And then you need to set the tracker on a location that's visible to the sensor. So I have that, I'm doing that. And this, uh, this is important. So you want to set up where your, your personal forward direction is, where you are going to be looking at. So uh, in this case, I am pointing the headset towards the screen and I press calibrate the center. And this part is very important. You saw that with the when we were using the Oculus SDK, that um, that we started at the at a height that was um, set by the by how much we are moving from the original position, right? So if you if you had set up, say, uh, a meter 50 
and you didn't move, you would still you would stay on the position that was originally set up on Unity. Whereas here, the height that we enter, this works differently than the, the Oculus SDK, the height that we enter here will be added to the existing camera camera's position. So um, because we, we have already set a, a height of 1.5 in the camera, in the player, I'm going to set this at zero so that we don't add anything on top of that. If we set our actual height in here, that will be added on top of that other number. So uh, what you would want to do in, in, in uh, if you are going to be developing for Steam VR, you want to make sure that the camera in the player, that the camera is at position zero and then you can enter your actual height in here. But I'm not going to do that, as I said, because we have already set up a height of 150 in the player. So I'm going to calibrate the floor and now go to next and we are done. So now if I go to play mode, this works exactly like what we had with the Oculus SDK, but we are now on OpenVR. And if we go and check our camera, the camera is in a position very, very near that height that we defined originally. Um, and that is what we wanted. So um, I'm going to repeat this part. So if you basically, if you know that you are going to be developing for Steam VR, you want to make sure that this value is zero at the beginning so that then you can enter your actual height and have the camera move all the way up to that height. And Maybe if you're going to develop from one more than one platform, as I said, that is not an easy thing to, thing to do. You might have to have an if statement and check which platform you're in. And according to that, set uh, the position to zero for SteamVR and for a fixed number for uh, a different platform. So that's it for this lesson. Um, I hope that you, got, you guys got the, the game working. And uh, I just want to give you a quick introduction to what it is like to develop with the Oculus and what the main options are for you these days. Um, something I forgot to mention regarding OpenVR is that the Oculus Touch, uh, sorry, the Oculus Remote, that clicker, doesn't work in OpenVR. So if you are in OpenVR, to move in here, you need to use the, the left button of the, uh, of the mouse.